4.19 time, Shane Van Gisbergen had on the programme before. Look forward to always talking to this guy. Saw you, um, watched a fair bit of the WRC over the weekend and I saw a few stages, um, and thank you for joining us again, mate, but here to Bathurst, um, where the, the car gets stopped, the camera gets stuffed in there, and you actually look as though you're having a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a pretty awesome experience, and seeing um, the massive crowds and stuff was, was epic, so it was really cool to have the rally back in New Zealand and also to be part of it. Yeah, look, I, I, I saw a couple of stages where they interviewed you straight afterwards and you had a big grin on your face, just like you were just really enjoying racing, mate. Yeah, well, I hate all those in-car cameras and stuff. You just want to have fun by yourself. But I guess, yeah, you share, sharing it with the world is pretty cool too. But, um, yeah, it was, um, it was epic to try it out. Do, 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 you, do you kind of forget that they're there until, oh, shit, that's right, there's a camera there? <laughs> yeah. I bet, because um and but just just talk talk through it, you know with the difference for you in getting into a car like that and racing those stages compared to the supercars is it a completely different mindset? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like you're firstly sitting on the other side of the car, and then you got someone there with you riding the highs and lows. But um, I guess the biggest thing is you get no practice. You you get to look at the stages slowly at fifty k's, and then. And then you're straight into it flat out, you know. So this weekend is the opposite. We got heaps of practice right before we get to the big race. So yeah, quite a bit different in the in the mindset. So hang on a So that's all you walk through is just uh, just a 50k gentler, and then you know. You, and uh, but I suppose that's what the co-driver does. He, then he has to remember everything for you, right? Well, you write it down as you go. Yeah. So so you that's what the reconnaissance is. You're writing down, checking the corners and stuff, and then. Um, yeah, you're into it, and he's reading the notes back to you as you as you both drive through. So it's a massive, massive team effort. Does it take a lot to get used to that bit? That you know, as you say, you don't normally have somebody in the car with you, but somebody in your ear who you've got to completely trust about. Okay, I mean, I, I don't know what he's saying to you because it's difficult to hear it. But is it like left hump, right, quick, what, what do you? Yeah, ready? yeah, that's that's the hardest part of rally. So I've still got a lot to learn there, and then of course, what information I need. So. Yeah, that's where I need to get better. And the stage, the super stage at the Domain, that looked awesome too. <laughs> yeah, it was not really good, real representative of the real rally, but it was a pretty awesome way to take the rally to the, to the people, I guess. So starting in the city on the on the Thursday night, doing a few donuts, I guess. Yeah. Pretty awesome for people to see that. Shane, look, I'm just a, you know, I hope the government here in New Zealand listens. You know, when you see the crowds at the supercars at Pukekoi and you see that tens of thousands of people turning out for the rally, this is a, a, a tourism postcard. I don't know why they balk at this and why they actually find it so difficult to talk about motorsport and funding motorsport. I mean, you see the reaction. Yep. To me, it's just, it's a no-brainer, mate. Yeah, yeah, same. Like, um, the crowd at Pukekoi was amazing. That's one of the most vocal and into it fans that we get um it was such an amazing atmosphere and then of course the rally as you say was the same so i think rally's taken a year off and then coming back in 24 yep but yeah supercars next year we need to make sure that's in in new zealand for sure because the new zealand fans are, are great obviously i'm biased but um having having the fans there supporting us kiwi drivers is, is epic and you know surely the government sees that as well and it's not a difficult transition at all for you then to put that aside as so that's a busman's holiday back into the big boys, the tin tops? Oh, racing cars are fun. <laughs> it's not not hard at all. I just gotta, yeah, get back in the right mindset for it and take the preparation and be ready. I love the history you have at Bathurst too, and I and you know, I know that there'll be history that you don't particularly like there, but I wonder whether or not what you went through before you won it was actually in some way you look back at it now and you think it wasn't as bad or it was helpful. Do you go through those emotions? Not really, no. No. Okay. You don't think about twenty fourteen much? Not really, no. It's just what, this year is all you think about? Um, oh I guess it's all experience, but yeah, I um yeah, just focused on this year's race. Um, obviously, we've got a good, good championship lead, so we can afford to have a big go at the race, and that's that's our focus. You know, the um, the guys and Andrew, my engineer, done a done an awesome job with the preparation, and Gus done a lot of racing lately, so he's ready to go as well. Wow. Um, but yeah, who knows? The weather's always a challenge. People always turn up with fast cars. There's no point overthinking it. We just go there with good prep and and do the best we can. What I love about this race as well is it's isolated. It's its own, regardless of the championship and everything else. It's just something you want to win, isn't it? 
Oh, yeah, for sure. But the championship's more important for me, 100%. Like, um, it's a whole year with your same group of guys. And uh, winning that championship at year's end after putting all that effort in and being the best performer all year means so much to everyone. And, and having that front garage and pit lane and the team's championship, um, you get to get to show that off all year as well. So, for me, uh, Bathurst is always good, but I'm always about the championship. Well, that's okay. That's so interesting to hear because you don't actually hear drivers say that that often. And, you know, putting it back also, and again, on all the people behind you who actually get you to the point where you can actually win these races. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Does the track change at all? Does the way you drive it change at all at Bathurst? Um, it does a bit. Um, it's, it's a street circuit. Um, it's a normal road during the week. So, yeah, uh, it doesn't get much race traffic on it. So, during the week, it rubbers up and gets grippier and grippier each time. But um, it's meant to be wet this weekend, I yep, think. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It changes it a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Does it make it scarier at all for you or not? Oh, not really. You just have to adapt and, you know, put the wets on, maybe a wet setup and, and see how you go. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know how we're going to approach it. I haven't looked at the forecast too intensely, but... We'll see what happens on Sunday. Shane Van Gisbergen with us with us on the platform. Do you have a special favourite part of that track? The finish line. <laughs> of course. And finally, look, yeah. what about NASCAR? What is it? What are the chances of you getting over there and having a drive in one of them? <laughs> yeah, there was a story last week about NASCAR, but I think it was a one word comment and it created a whole bunch of news stories, so very premature. But um, you know, maybe I'd like to have a go, but I don't, uh, there's no news yet. You know, there was a whole bunch of news and stuff last week, but very, very premature. Okay, so there was actually news about no news. That's not like exactly, the news, yeah. is it, mate? Yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah. well, look, thanks again for your time. We always love talking to you. All the best this weekend. Drive fast. Thanks a lot. Cheers, mate.